Hey, it's Rion or Rion, however you want to say it, with this YouTube channel. Um, this actually is like near the microphone, it's kind of dragging it down. It's a laser surgery scar. I had a BCC. Um, so, anyways, I think it had to do with my heart chakra being blocked, um, less so than sun tanning, but separate subject. So, that's what that is, by the way. If you have scars or things you don't accept about yourself, you could actually turn them into being the sexiest thing about you. So you have four toes and they're missized. That is so hot. That's so sexy. So you really want to come from a level of self-acceptance where you don't have shame or resistance about who you are. So you might have been curious to what that is. So we can bring things up like that in coaching and transformational work. Um, some of the men have different issues that they really have shame about, so I help them to overcome it. Okay, so it helps to be aware of what your weaknesses are so you can accept them and not let them block your power and your expression. Okay, so the subject here, which I have no idea on, I'm gonna have to pause this and come back. I'll let you know is about one itis okay and actually if you probably have one itis you may or may not have some dysfunction within yourself where you would have guilt and shame like there's some void somewhere you don't accept yourself so it's this one woman who can fill that void within you and she's the one who makes those those four toes of yours that are kind of misshapen and have, you know, she makes it okay. So you get really attached to this one woman. So you want to see if you have one itis, there's this one woman you really value. Is it trying to fill a void within yourself? Does this one woman make you feel special because you don't feel special about yourself? You want to see if it's coming from any sort of dysfunction. It's kind of like, you're a rowboat in the ocean and you're trying to fill these gaps because you're just a sinking ship so you got to keep shoveling out the water well when you finally um, you know plug the gaps the holes in the boat then you can actually get somewhere so it's actually kind of a metaphor for your personal and spiritual growth your sexual growth uh, are you a sinking ship and what you're doing is trying to, with that one woman, you know, try to get somewhere, but you can't because you keep sinking. So it's like you keep filling this dysfunction within yourself. I guess we're mixing metaphors here or whatever. But uh, you want to look at that. If you really have one itis and you need this woman, if you're saying you need her, I miss her, like even some of my close friends sometimes have some of these issues. Um, and to help make them aware of it, but it's like, ah, their heart just longs for this one woman because of how she makes them feel and so forth. Well, that's not the healthiest, most functional thing. If you have one itis, you could even believe that there's only one woman for you, and it's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't wanna bust your bubble right now, but if you have one itis, you're really stuck on this one woman, I would ask you to let her go. Just let her go, let her go. And fill the voids within yourself so that you don't need anything outside of yourself like a woman. You realize that there's so many other women out there. Now, if you're in a relationship with a woman, like a marriage relationship, long-term relationship, yeah, there might be some other dynamics with it, but you still wanna look at it as a healthy relationship. Is there dysfunction within myself that I'm trying to get or need from this one woman? You might wanna to evolve to be more conscious so that you fill those, the holes that keep sinking you so that you can be and build a greater ship to sail on the ocean and you can attract sexier female ships on the ocean that aren't sinking, but actually so you can sail away together. Yeah, in a, in a smorgasbord of mixed analogies. So one itis, look at yourself, because chances are you're getting something from her, 
that's filling something within yourself. Um, if it's a certain woman that you're fantasizing about that you're not even with yet and she or she doesn't even know you, then that's its own fantasy of dysfunction. Okay, so I'd recommend to get grounded in a self-centered reality where you can be independent and then attract women in healthy interdependent relationships on chemistry and connection. So just some insight on that for now. It's Rio and subscribe to this channel and you can eliminate one-itis. If anything, you should be in love with yourself the most. That is so hot. That's so sexy.